adding or subtracting dissimilar rational algebraic expressions. When we say dissimilar, meaning the rational algebraic expressions don't have the same denominator. But before that, let's review first. LCM is where the numbers first meet. For example, we have 12 and 36. So what are the multiples of 12? We have 12, 24, 36. While in 36, we have 36, 72. So where do the two numbers meet? So they meet at 36. Meaning the LCM of 12 and 36 is 36. Another example, what is the LCM of 15 and 12? The multiples of 15 are 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. And the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So 15 and 12 meet at 60. Therefore, the LCM of 15 and 12 is 60. Same goes with LCD. LCD are for fractions or rational algebraic equations. So here, we need to get the least common denominator. Example, we have 1 over 6 and 2 over 9. So we need to get the LCD of 6 and 9. So the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24. Well, the multiples of 9 are 9, 18. So both numbers meet at 18. So the LCD here is 18. Let us now have the RAE. We need to find the least common multiple of the monomial or the polynomial. So we have, we have 15 x squared y, 12 xy, and 3y squared. The LCM of these three monomials. For the LCM of the numerical coefficients, we will do the steps a while ago. We have 15, 12, and 3. So the multiples of 15 are 15, 30, 45. 12 has 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So we need to add another multiple of 15. Next is 60. And then, and then for 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, and 60. So the three numerical coefficients meet at 60. The LCM of 15, 12, and 3 is 60. For the variables, you will just get the variable with higher exponent. I repeat, you get the variable with higher exponent. So we have x squared y, xy, and y squared. So for x, which has the higher exponent? We have x squared. And then for y, which has the higher exponent? We have y squared. So meaning, the LCM for this example is 60x squared y squared. How about this one? Find the LCM of x squared plus 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 2. First, we need to get the factors of each given. For x squared plus 
2x plus 1. We will use PST. The factors are x plus 1 and x plus 1. For 2x plus 2, we will use CMF. So the factors are 2. You divide the given by 2, so you will have x plus 1. And then we will write all the factors except if the factor is repeated or it, it has a pair, you will just write 1. So we have 2. So x plus 1 and x plus 1 will be written as one factor. And then the third factor is x plus 1. So this is the LCM of this example. Example number 1, x plus y over x plus x plus y over y. We cannot add right away this example because they don't have the same denominator. So what will we do is to get the LCD. So in here, the LCD is xy. You just need to multiply the denominator since they don't have the same factor. Next, we will replace each denominator by the LCD. So this will become xy, same as with the second RAE. So we will rewrite the denominator using the LCD. Next, remember, you need to divide with the denominator and then multiply your answer in the numerator. So we have xy divided by x, that is y, and then you multiply it with the numerator. Then, same as with the second RAE, divide with the denominator, xy divided by y, so we have x, because y will be cancelled, and then we will multiply it with the numerator. Next now, we can copy the denominator because they are already the same so we have xy distribute x times y that is xy y times y that is y squared same here x times x that is x squared and then x times y that is xy next we will rearrange and then combine like terms so we will write first x squared and then y squared and then we can add xy and xy so it is understood that xy has one here so we have one plus one that is to copy the variable and then copy the denominator so this is the answer for this example let us now have the second example 3x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 5 over 2x plus 2. So, we need to get first the LCD. So, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 and then 2x plus 2. The first denominator is factorable using PST. The factors are x plus 1 and x plus 1 while the second denominator is factorable using CMF so we have 2 times x plus 1 and then we will, our given is so don't forget that this denominator is same as x plus 1 times x plus 1 and then the second denominator is 2 times x plus 1 and then our new denominator is the LCD which is 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. So we will divide the denominator, this one divided by this one, and then x plus 1 and x plus 1 will be cancelled. So they will be remaining 2. And then we will write the numerator to be multiplied. And then same here, we will divide this one. So 2 and x plus 1 will be cancelled. So we will have x plus 1 as the remaining factor and then multiplied by the numerator 5. So we will use the distributive method 2 times 3x that is 6x, 2 times 1 that is 2, x times 5 that is 5x, 
1 times 5, that is 5. And then copy the LCD. Next, we will combine like terms. When you say like terms, these are the terms that have the same variable or they are the same constant. So we have 6x and 5x. So you will just add the numerical coefficient, 6 plus 5, that is 11, and then copy the variable, x. And then we have 2 plus 5, that is 7. Copy the denominator. So this is the answer for this example. Now have the next example, x plus 1 over x plus 2 minus x plus 1 over x plus 3. Since our denominators here are not factorable, so we will just multiply them. So our LCD here is x plus 2 times x plus 3. So we will rewrite the denominator using the LCD, x plus 2 and then x plus 3. Next, we will divide the LCD with the first denominator. So, x plus 2 times x plus 3 over x plus 2. So, x plus 2 is cancelled. The remaining factor will be x plus 3. And then, we will multiply it with the numerator x plus 1. Same goes with the second denominator. We will divide them. So, x plus 3 will be cancelled. So, we have x plus 2 as the remaining factor times x plus 1. Next, we will use the FOIL method in multiplying two binomials. Copy the LCD. So, we have x plus x, that is x squared. x plus 1, that is x. 3 times x, that is 3x. And then, 3 times 1, that is 3 minus we will also use the foil method here so we have x times x x squared 1 times x that is x 2 times x that is 2x and then 2 times 1 that is 2 so we will move to the next page now since our operation is minus we need to multiply the negative sign inside the parentheses so, we will copy the first numerator and then negative times x squared, that is negative x squared. Negative times x, that is negative x. Negative times 2x, that's, that is negative 2x. And then negative times positive 2, that is negative 2. Next, we will combine like terms. So, we have x squared and negative x squared. That will become 0. And then we have x and negative x they will also become 0 and then we have 3x minus 2x that is x we have 3 minus 2 that is plus 1 and then copy the denominator so this is the final answer so, you can also multiply the denominator using FOIL method, but this answer is already acceptable. Next example, 2 over x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus 2 over x squared minus x minus 2. The first step should be, let's find the LCD. So, we have x squared minus 2x minus 3 and x squared minus x minus 2. So, both trinomials are factorable using general trinomial. So, factors of x squared, factors of 3 that if you subtract them, you, it will give you 2 as the answer. So, we have 3 times 1. The higher factor will follow the sign of the middle term. Next, factors of x squared, x times x. Factors of 2, that if you subtract them, you will give, it will give you 1 as the answer. So, we have 2 and 1. 
the higher factor will follow the sign of the middle term, negative, positive. And then we will write all the factors. So we have x minus 3 and x minus 2. Since x plus 1 are identical, we will write them once. So our LCD is this one. Next, our example is... Next, we will use the LCD as the new denominator, x minus 3, x minus 2, x plus 1. Remember, this denominator is same as x minus 3, x plus 1, and this is x minus 2, x plus 1. We will divide this, and then the two factors will be cancelled. So the remaining factor is x minus 2 times the numerator minus we will divide this and then x minus 2 and x plus 1 are cancelled so the remaining factor is x minus 3 multiplied by the numerator next we will use the distributive method so we have 2 times x 2x 2 times negative 2 that is negative 4 negative 2 times x we have negative 2x negative 2 times negative 3 it will give you positive 6 and then copy the denominator Next, we will combine like terms, 2x minus 2x, that is 0, and then we have negative 4 plus 6, different sign minus, copy the sign of the bigger number, so we have 2 over the denominator. So this is the final answer for this example.